I remember what it feels like to move in the air like that, but still not knowing what was going on. July 4th, 1968, we were leaving New York City to go to uh, visit some family in St. Louis, Missouri. We had eight people in a six-passenger car, and we had a blowout. The car went out of control, and I was thrown out of the car and uh, broke my back. The doctor who uh, put the steel rods in my spine was expecting me to walk after surgery. Time goes by, nothing happened. They did not find any reason why I wasn't walking after surgery. I've always was an artist. I was expecting to go to art school. Everything stops as far as my dreams. Having small children and being in a wheelchair for my mother was also pretty scary because there were lots of things that, that she felt she wouldn't be able to do. I think that's why I had such high anxiety when I was raising my kids because of my physical limitation, you know. And I mean, it's more than just, I think, a physical thing. It's, um, it's an identity. It's a way of like being seen and seeing oneself. I would love to walk again. It is just, I would love to do it. Even if I had less than a year to experience what it would be like again to feel my feet on the ground independently and to my own, then I would take that.